Another interesting uh, feature is that we can change types later and so we want to create a type called monarch which is derived from our royals so that we can distinguish um, the monarchs like the the royals that have been reigning monarchs from uh, the normal royals okay because um, they have other features additional features because they've been kings okay so uh, what we create now is an outbound relationship called predecessor so uh, the royal that this monarch took over from and obviously we call it predecessor because um, successor is often not uh, not given so um, you know whenever a royal takes over um, he has a predecessor but not a successor yet and it's a one one relationship in both ends so basically um, a monarch can only take over from another monarch only one and every monarch has only one successor so one predecessor and one successor uh, that's why both boxes were unchecked okay so if we save that um, obviously uh, we want to copy uh, the description for title and description um, the path the definition from royal because they should still read King George and uh, the house and when they were born and when they died um, okay but it's a reigning monarch so that's the difference here and that's why we have the predecessor and successor logic okay so safe if we now go to Queen Elizabeth uh, or well okay we do it with a table because it's a bit quicker so we open all the royals that we have and we basically select um, all the kings and her majesty the queen and we change their type from royal to monarch you can see that you can only change up and down the hierarchy so it could have gone down to oh make it from royal into just a named object or dated object the ones that royals inherit from okay but we've gone up to monarch and you can see that now if we refresh queen elizabeth she now has the new field called predecessor and her predecessor was her father king george the sixth and obviously if we go and have a look at king george his predecessor was his father king george the no it was his brother, King Edward VIII. Okay. And um, the predecessor of King Edward VIII was King George V. Okay, you can see that the list to choose from becomes less because uh, everyone who has already a successor and no longer uh, comes up in the list to choose from to keep it simple. Okay, that's it.